and let's get started. So I'm going to start off by priming my face with That Girl Brightening Face Primer from Benefit. I'm just going to put a little bit of it on my fingers and then dab it all over my face so that I get a nice brightness underneath any and all foundation that I'll be putting on my face. Next, using a beauty blender and my NYX High Definition Liquid Foundation in Soft Beige, I'm going to tap it onto my problem areas, which I noticed to be my cheeks, a little bit of my forehead, and my nose, and then taking my knockoff beauty blender, I'm going to buff it into my skin so I get a nice even airbrush tone, and my mirror is behind my camera, so that's why I tilt to the side to see what I'm doing to make sure I get all the areas covered. Then taking this Jane bronzer in Sahara, I use my Real Techniques blush brush and I just kind of buff it all over my face to give a nice even color. Then going in using my NYX mosaic powder in Peachy, I'm going to tap it over the apples of my cheek, just give me a little bit of extra color and a little bit more dimension. And I use a flawless foundation brush for this and then make sure that everything is all nice and smoothly blended. Then taking my e.l.f. mist and set spray, I just set it on, tap my face a little bit, and make sure that my foundation is nice and set. Now you're going to need a lot of this. This is the NYX High Definition Eye Eyeshadow, excuse me, Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm going to really make sure that it's covered all over my eyelids so that when I put on all the color, it's nice and poppable. Then taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk the coveted color. I'm going to put that all over the base of my lids so that any and all color that I put on there will be really bright and actually stand out so you really see the color versus it kind of looking muted and muddled into your skin tone. And then taking my finger, I'm just going to kind of blend it in so that it's nice and evenly done without looking like I drew on my eyes with a crayon. And there we have it. Now, if my light would not be a pain in the butt, you could see that I was using this gold from the BH Party Girl palette. It's in the top left-hand corner of it. And I put that as kind of an all-over lid color, so you can really see it when I go closer. And you want this to look bright, because you are adding gold and yellow to your eyelids. Then going in with a little bit more of a shader brush, I went and used that bright yellow, and I used it just over my lids so that you had a little bit of the gold showing but you could definitely see that there was yellow all over your lids as well. Then going in using this champagne color I just put it on the inner part of my tear ducts to just brighten up my eyes a little bit so you have a little bit of dimension so it doesn't look like you just have yellow chalk essentially over your eyes. And then underneath the yellow is this really pretty nice matte brown. I just took a flat brush and I went over my bottom lash line about halfway through to give me a little bit of dimension. Make sure that they get all the fallout. And then using my Milani Retractable Eyeliner in black, I'm going to go right onto the tight line of my eyes and I'm really going to line my lashes and my lash line. So this is going to be really dark and it's going to look really intense and I just kind of let it flow against my natural tight line and kind of just flow it from there. Make sure that you get it on both your upper and lower nice and dark so that your eyes are nicely outlined. And then do it once over in the mirror so you can see how bright the outlines they are. And there you have it. Next I'm just going to curl my lashes. This is just an elf eyelash curler that I got at Target for $3. So you can use any eyelash curler though. And then using my Benefit Bad Girl Lash, or Bad Lash, I'm going to really heavily put a lot of mascara on both my upper and lower lashes. It's going to be very, very heavy so that your lashes are nice and thick. So when I went through and did it about four or five times, a lot on the outer part of my lashes and my lower lash line. And then using my NARS Multiple in Copacabana, I'm just going to put that lightly tapped onto the apples of my cheek, just to give me a little bit of brightness and highlighter. And next, using my Victoria's Secret Pro Lip Scrub and FX Balm, I use just the balm part and I put that as a base on my lips. And then using NYX's Strawberry Milk Lipstick, which is this beautiful pink color, I went all over my lips to give it a nice, really 
heavy dose of color and then using my Outlast CoverGirl lip stain in 440, which is a berry one. I just went over that to kind of make it more natural looking. And there you have it, the Hufflepuff look, which is the last part of the Hogwarts Hottie makeup series. Now again, if you want any of the dual houses, whether you're a Ravenpuff or a Gryffindor or a Slither door or anything like that, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure that I can try and come up with a great combination for you to wear for every day. Now don't forget to hit that like button and give this video a nice big thumbs up. There's also going to be links to my various social media in the description box below so you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, like me on Facebook, and always don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys! So black detailing, definitely great for work and for concert stuff. I came with an extra black.